Today's medical centric topic is demystifying deep vein thrombosis, DVT, and pulmonary embolism, PE, understanding the differences. Deep vein thrombosis, DVT, and pulmonary embolism, PE, are two related but distinct medical conditions involving blood clotting. This article aims to clarify the differences between DVT and PE, their risk factors, symptoms, and preventative measures. 1. Understanding DVT and PE DVT, deep vein thrombosis, is a condition characterized by the formation of blood clots, thrombi, within deep veins, typically in the legs. PE, pulmonary embolism, occurs when a portion of a DVT clot breaks off and travels through the bloodstream to block a pulmonary artery in the lungs. 2. Risk Factors Both DVT and PE share several risk factors, including prolonged immobility, such as long flights or bed rest, surgery or trauma, especially involving the lower limbs, cancer. Cancer and its treatments can increase clotting risks. Certain medications, such as birth control pills and hormone replacement therapy. 3. DVT Symptoms Leg pain, often in one leg. Swelling, in the affected leg. Warmth and redness, over the clot. Pain when flexing the foot upward, known as Homan's sign, though it is not a definitive diagnostic tool. 4. PE symptoms. Sudden shortness of breath, often severe. Chest pain, sharp and worsened by deep breaths or coughing. Cough, sometimes with blood. Rapid heart rate, tachycardia. Feeling lightheaded or fainting, due to reduced blood flow to the brain. 5. Diagnosis. DVT typically confirmed through ultrasound imaging of the affected leg. PE. Diagnosis often involves a combination of imaging tests like CT pulmonary angiography, lung scans, and blood tests. 6. Prevention and treatment. Prevention. Strategies include staying active, avoiding prolonged immobility, wearing compression stockings, and managing underlying risk factors. Treatment. DVT and PE are often managed with anticoagulant medications to prevent further clot formation. In severe cases, thrombolytic drugs or surgical interventions may be necessary. 7. Complications. Chronic venous insufficiency. DVT can lead to long-term leg swelling and discomfort. Post-thrombotic syndrome a condition causing chronic leg pain and other symptoms after DVT. Pulmonary hypertension. Some PE cases may lead to high blood pressure in the lungs. 8. Conclusion. DVT and PE are serious medical conditions that require prompt diagnosis and treatment. Knowing the risk factors, recognizing symptoms, and seeking immediate medical attention can significantly improve outcomes. Preventative measures, especially for individuals with known risk factors, are crucial in reducing the incidence of these potentially life-threatening conditions. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.